This ancient Korean sample was nothing like modern Koreans genetically and looked different. The results will shock you. Somewhere between 768 and 542 BC, this sample is strange as it is around 30% West, Eurasian, in admixture, and also has higher levels of Mongolia hunter admixture than modern Koreans do. All modern populations are distant to it, but the closest ones are the Kyrgyz of Central Asia, as they're also mainly East Eurasian, but with 30% West Eurasian admixture. So who could this ancient Korean who looked more like modern Central Asians do, rather than Koreans be? Based on his proportions of steppe West Eurasian and Mongolia hunter admixture, coupled with around 50% of Yellow River admixture, along with the absence of Jomon admixture common to Koreans and Japanese, this individual was likely of mixed Scytho-Siberian and Han Chinese origin. Scytho-Siberian samples are typically between 45 and 70 percent West Eurasian, which when halved would be close to 30 percent, and they also existed in the same time period as this sample did. But why on earth would a mixed Scytho-Siberian and Han Chinese person be buried in South Korea remains a mystery.